you know who's watching. Good to see you again today. Hey, who's looking forward to the puppets later? Hi, Kirsty. Hi, Nihana. Lots of you coming on, that's really good. Hi Ava and Imogen, hi Aiden. Hi Charlotte and Nathaniel, good to see you too. Anybody been doing the bowling? Brilliant, good to see you. Oh, that's my music stopped, stopped the boogie in. Okay, well it's good to see so many of you here today. And welcome to Apex Kids Home Edition. Week five, day three. Wow, can you believe five weeks of lockdown so far? We have been doing very well. We have a few more people joining us here. We have Stephanie and Stephanie. No, Adam, today we've got Chloe and Jaden. Hi, Zach. Good to see you again. I like the bowling. I love the. You had sides to your bowling alley. That was really cool. Hi, Riley. Good to see you as well. So a few of you joining us and looking forward to our puppet show today. We have been working hard trying to get all the props in place. So we will get to that later. But who was the winner of yesterday's game? It was Pictionary, wasn't it? You know what? I didn't look. So I'm going to give you all a prize because... My drawing wasn't that good, but you did really well. So if you manage to get my pictures, you can ask your mum or dad for a prize. And you can tell me what, what it was you got. Did you get pudding with your dinner? Did you get to watch a movie? Did you get to play a game with mum and dad? Okay, you can tell me. Oh dear, Adam's not very well, Stephanie. Well, tell him I hope he feels better soon. So it's good to see you all here. I don't know why you can't hear, Chloe. I'm not sure. Have you got your volume up? I think everybody else can hear me. I hope so. So, our game today is our finger game. So last week we were learning about, well I learnt, about the kind of food that you liked. And I know that Reese liked all ten foods that I mentioned, so he was our winner last time. Hi Casey and Jackson. Oh, a few of you can't hear. I'm not sure why that is. Is anybody can hear me? Or can nobody hear me? I'll wait and see who says... Can anyone hear me? The few people can't hear me. I'm wondering whether my connection's any good. You should be able to hear me. Wait in a few seconds. Nobody's answering. Oh, good. Kirsty can hear me. So it's not me then. Brilliant. And Ava and Emmy can hear me. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Sorry about those that can't hear. I'm hoping you fix your problem soon. Right, so today we are going to find out what's in your bedroom. Okay, so you have to think about what's in your bedroom. And I'm going to ask you some questions. Like in my room I have, and if I say a duck, and you have a duck, you have to put your finger down, okay? If you don't have a duck in your room, you keep your finger up. Have you got it? So we're going to see how many fingers you've got left at the end of the game. And you can type and tell me how many you've got left and we'll see who the winner is. So, up with your fingers. And the first question is, in my room, I have more than 10 cuddly toys. Do you have more than 10 cuddly toys in your bedroom? If you have, put down your finger. I don't think I have. If I was upstairs in my kids' room, I would definitely have my finger down because they have loads of teddies. Okay, next question. 
put your finger down if you on your bed sleep on two pillows not just one but two do you have two pillows put your finger down okay put your finger down if you have more than one window in your bedroom now I only have one so I'm keeping my fingers up anyone got more than one window oh a few of you right put your fingers down if you have bunk beds in your bedroom I don't have bunk beds ah but some of you do fingers going down put your finger down if you have a desk you have a desk in your bedroom yep put your finger down if you have Lego in your bedroom any Lego in your bedroom no put your finger down I haven't got many I haven't got a kid's bedroom if you have a doll's house anyone got a doll's house in their bedroom cool some of you got doll's houses oh lovely put your finger down if you have a rug anyone have a nice rug in their room nice decorations yes if you have a rug brilliant and put your finger down if you have a bean bag any bean bags gabrielle's got a nice yellow bean bag anyone got a bean bag put your fingers down and then last one this is the tenth question see how many you've got left put your fingers down if your name is up on your bedroom wall maybe in a picture or maybe stuck on the wall put your finger down okay that's all ten so you tell me how many fingers you still got up okay brilliant and I'll wait and see what your answers are so lots of things in your bedrooms amazing I'm finding out lots about you so can anyone remember the apex truth for this week can you remember what it is a few of you can remember it well done yes so that's right it is God's word I will hide in my heart well done for those that you remembered oh lots of people oh hey Zach you've got none of those things on your room wow you kept all ten fingers up hi okay lots oh Isa May you haven't got many things in your room either you've still got nine fingers left wow I'll have to think more carefully next time about some things that you might have in your rooms so our apex truth God's word I will hide in my heart and that's what we've been learning about this week we have been learning how important it is to listen to God's word to read God's word but also to believe it so that it goes into our hearts and remember we got some seeds and we put them we hid the seed in the pot because when we hide the seed that's when we water it and get sunshine it starts to grow and when God's word gets into our hearts that's when it starts to grow doesn't it and we also learnt from Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 that the word of God is alive and powerful it's not fake it's not pretend food that doesn't really do anything for us fake things it's alive and it's powerful it helps us to grow and it helps us to be healthy and that's why it's important to know God's Word so what was your challenge yesterday that's right your challenge was to do some temp in bowling because I wanted to see how accurate your aim was how good you were at aiming at those temp in bowls because our story today is about a farmer who has to sow seeds and some of those seeds go in the wrong place so we are going to get our puppets ready so I'm gonna get my puppet theatre ready and I am hoping my puppets are getting ready oh here it comes I'm gonna squidge over to the side a little bit and my puppets are going to crawl in behind me okay I'm gonna squidge over here Whoop. oh I thought 
thought I'd go on a puppet's toe then. I thought I'd squish somebody. Right. So. We have all our puppets ready. Not many puppets today, but a lot of props. Okay. So, here we go. I am on a puppet's toe. Oh, dear. I could hear him screaming. Ouch! Right. <laughs> so. We have today, our story begins by the lake. Can you remember who liked to teach beside the lake? We had him teaching there before. Yes, that's right. Our true story today is about Jesus, our cool Jesus here. And Jesus, remember, was teaching by the lake. And the crowd started to gather around him. The crowd started to gather as he was teaching and it became so squashed that he had to climb into a boat while all the people were along the shore at the edge of the water. And he taught them many things. But one of the ways he taught them was through parables. He loved to teach through parables, which were stories with God meanings. And so one day he taught this message. He said, listen. This story is about a farmer who went to sow seed. And here's our farmer. Looking very nice. Wave at our farmer. Woo! Give him a little dance. Okay, so our farmer was out in his fields and he was scattering some seed. And some of it fell along the path. Oh my. But you know what happened? The birds came along and they ate it all up. Oh, look at those birds eating up all the seed. Now some, some fell on rocky places where it did not haven't much soil. There wasn't much soil at all. Whoa. Now this seed, it did. It sprang up quickly because the shallow was only so only the soil was only shallow, so it sprang up really quickly. Whoops! But you know what happened? When the sun came up, the plants were scorched and they withered because they didn't have any roots. Now there was other seed, and this fell among the thorns. Now this plant sprang up as well, but so did the thorns. They grew up and they choked the plant so that it didn't bear any... So it didn't bear any grain. Oh dear. But you know what? Other seeds fell on good soil. It came up, it grew and produced a crop, and it multiplied 30, 60, 100 times. And Jesus said, everybody here who hears what I am saying let him hear it. If he's got ears, let him hear. But you know what? Later, when he was on his own with his disciples, they were a bit confused. They were a bit confused and they didn't know what it was about. So they asked him to explain. Well, Jesus said, this is what it's about. You see, the thought the seed is like the word of God. It's God's word. And when the farmer threw the seed on the path, as soon as it's like people who hear God's word, but as soon as they hear it, Satan comes like the birds and takes it away. They take it away because it doesn't get into their hearts. But the other seed is like the other seed that falls on the rocky place is like people who hear the word and they get really excited and they're really happy but because they don't have any roots 
They don't know God's word very well. They last only a short time. And when trouble comes along or people no longer like them because they believe in God's word, they quickly stop following God, just like those plants that were scorched by the sun. And then, of course, still others are like the seed sown among the thorns. They hear the words, but there are lots of worries in life. And because they will think about money and all the things that money can buy to make them happy, those things become more important than God. And so they all get choked out like the weeds choke them. And there's no room for God anymore. But you know what? There are other people that are like the seed sown on good soil. They hear the word, they accept it, and they produce a big crop, some 30, some 60, some 100 times what was sown. They bring God's love to many people. And that's the kind of people we want to be, isn't it? And that was the story of the parable of the sower that Jesus told. Say bye-bye to our farmer. Hey, farmer, well done. Okay, thank you, Puff. Oh, the disciples have come to say bye as well. Yeah, so bye-bye. Oh, that's the end. And Jesus. Bye. Ooh. Okay, well done. So that was our puppet show for today. Brilliant. So that's a great story, isn't it, that Jesus told to help us realise how important it is to hear God's word and to have it in our hearts. Because remember, we're learning that we need to hide God's word in our hearts. Let's do our apex truth together. God's word I will hide in my heart. Brilliant. Well done if you can say that. We are going to pray today and then I am going to see if you know the whole of our Apex Truth so far and then I'll tell you what your challenge is for tomorrow. Okay, let's pray. Father God, we thank you that the Bible is full of your words written for us. Help us to read it, to listen to it and to know it not just in our heads but in our hearts too, so that we can grow and produce fruit, showing others your love. Amen. Excellent. Well done. That is really good. Okay, so we are going to do our Apex Truth right from the start, right from week one. So those of you who have been watching from week one, you'll know it all. Those that haven't, you can just join in on the bit that you know. So here we go. It goes like this. I'm not going to worry. I'm going to pray. Because Jesus is my king. I'll praise him every day. For me he died and rose again. I give my life to him. When I am weak, he is strong with him. I'll always win. God's word I will hide in my heart. Oh, and you'll have to find out next week what happens next. Well done if you could say all that. I know Shania sent me a video of her saying it. That was really good. You are doing so well learning our apex truth. So, I can hear you asking me, what is your challenge tonight or tomorrow morning? you have time, I want you to make a post box. A box with a little hole, like a post box, that you can put letters in. So you can decorate it however you want. You can decorate it with hearts, you can decorate it with happy faces, because this is going to be a happy post box. We're not going to post anything sad in it, we're just going to post happy things in it. So. You're going to make a post box. You can maybe put in some of the memory verses you've learned, maybe some of the apex truths you've learned. You can write things that you are thankful for and post them in. If you've drawn any brilliant pictures, you can post them in. And also, if you've got a message for someone in your family, you want to write them a letter, or even somebody who maybe you can't see just at the moment, you could write them a letter and put it in your post box. And then 
When you're ready, you can open it and deliver some of those letters. So you're going to make your very own post box just for your house. So you can send messages to people in your house and you can also send messages to God. You could write prayers, you can write some of the memory verses, you can write things you're thankful for and put them in the box as well. So that would be really good. You don't have to do all those at once, you just need to make the post box. And then over the weeks you can add in different things to your post box. So I look forward to seeing how you decorate yours and what it looks like. You'll have to raid that recycling bin again, some cereal boxes I think and see what you can make. So it has been lovely spending today with you. Hi, Sophia, and glad you could join us too. I hope you enjoyed our puppet show, and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.